Hello, students. Good evening. Hi, hi. Uh, do you listen to me? Yes. Good evening. Hi, welcome. Well, welcome to our English class. So it's a pleasure to see you. So it's a good time, definitely. Um, no, so no windy, but it is actually okay. So how are you? How are you today? Great, thanks for asking. Um, everything is doing great. Um, you know, always ready to start a class, always encouraged and, you know, the motivation that is very valuable. So welcome you all to our English class, it's a great time. Hello. Hi, it's a good time definitely to start this class this day. Also getting ready uh, with the motivation and encouragement to, to work a lot and practice actively. And this is what we had to do, right? Uh, just come here to do our best and maximize our English skills. That's one of the most valuable things that we can uh, talk about. Okay, before that we start, I just want to ask you, um, what do you remember we started uh, yesterday? So give me a feedback and also remember me some things about a class yesterday, please. Um, yesterday we talk about uh, conditional sentence with if clause. Okay, excellent. Um, what else? Uh, we think starting the about the future, our future. I guess it was yesterday. Okay, thank you. Yes, uh, we definitely that we were discussing a little bit about this uh, this important topic, especially uh, the conditionals, right? When we are talking about some situations and that are definitely very valuable for us. And also, as we can say, cause and effect. But overall, the most valuable is that we can identify the structures, the if clause, and also the complement in the sentence. Okay, so with this um, motivation, we start today with our class. And today we will have a different topic to develop and with the main purpose to maximize our English skills. As uh, we said before, we definitely that we need to speak. We need to produce the language and also try to sound very uh, confident and comfortable in this process. Okay, so let's begin. Look at this. If you remember, we were discussing yesterday some exercises um, related to the conditionals, right? So we had to read the statements and also we have to uh, develop some structures. And also you help me to complete some exercises um, about this. So the last exercises, we couldn't develop them because of the time but I know that it was um, something interesting to discuss about. So let's check them. Could you complete the exercises or you couldn't? Hello? Teacher. Uh, tell me. Is new exercise or oh, the yesterday I make the exercise the, with you? I don't know. We, we did it. Uh, yes, we did. Uh, we did two exercises, but uh, the last one, I don't know if we completed because we have two from 1 to 12, and this is from 13 to 22. Okay, teacher. Uh, we were two different exercises. So the question is, did you complete these exercises or not? No. Okay. Okay. So we will take this time to um, to do it together. And 
for for that reason, we're going to do something right now. One moment, please. Check this. Check this. He's, he's late, teacher. No. Hello? He's, he's, he's late. Yeah, so I'm I just going to, to change here the, the presentation. One moment. Uh, because I need to write. So that's why I'm going to um, make it a small, not complete, so we can we can write here the exercises. Uh -huh. This. Okay, exactly this one. All right. So look at this. Look at this exercise. If he... If he... If he, if he is late, We'll go without him. Exactly, right? We do without him. We do without mm -hmm. him. Exactly. So in that case, we use this structure. And the next one, yeah. she will be absolutely furious if if she she was curious. Here. She was curious. Hears. If she hears, right? Uh-huh. If she hears about this. Uh-huh. Uh, look at that. In that case, we used uh, here's. If you put on the kettle, kettle, I, I will make, we make something. I will make. We'll make. Uh, I will make some tea, right? In the future. Yeah. Talking yeah. about the future, right? I will make. Excellent. And look at the, the 16. If you give my dog a bone, he... So what do you think? What do you think will be? Will, he will will Boris. Boris. He will Boris. Um, he will Boris. Mm -hmm. Boris. Mm -hmm. Maybe he will... is he going to put into the floor? <laughs> Yeah, so bury is to, yeah, of course. Uh, as we say, like dig out, you know, yeah. um, that was say in Spanish, like enterrar. Yeah. yeah, that is the bury it. So if you give my dog a bone, he will bury it. Okay. Uh, next one, put it on the on the ground. Put it, put it down the ground. If okay. we leave the car here, it, it is not. Anybody. If, if we leave the it car won't, here, it won't, it won't, it won't be. It won't be in anybody's way. Okay, that makes sense. Look at the number, uh, the next one, 18. He'll be late for, late the, for the train. He's seeing a star. He's, He's not seeing a star. star. If he do not start. Is he not a star? If he doesn't start, <laughs> or he doesn't start at once. If he doesn't. At once, right? So he be late for the training, he doesn't start once. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, muy bien. Uh, the next one, the number 19. If you come late, they are not let you I'm doing they they don't yes. so they don't let you in they, they, they don't, don't let you in they don't yes exactly they don't uh, mm -hmm. let you in if you come late they don't let you in Si tú, no, si tú vienes tarde, pues ellos no te dejarán entrar. Eh, the 20, look at the next one. Um, if, he, if he goes go, on selling. Go. Teacher, solo una pregunta. Yep. Eh, en este caso no sería want en la 19. Eh, if, you come, if you come late, they don't let you in. Eh, si, ellos, si tú vienes tarde, ellos no te dejan entrar. Eh, podemos dejan. usar la... Ah, ah que yo, como yo oí que dijo, dejarán. Ah, eh, en ese, está bien. Es decir, nosotros podemos utilizar eh, el, el presente o lo podemos utilizar en función de futuro. Por ejemplo, ah. por ejemplo yo veo la, what, la 16. Eh, si, tú le, si tú le das a mi perro un hueso, él lo entierra. Entonces, una acción 
que, puede, que pasa o, o pasa en el presente. Pero también yo la puedo subir a categoría futuro. Si tú le das Ajá, sí. eso, él la enterrará. So we are talking about the future. So in that case, we can like play with the two times, like the present and also the future, depending the context. Well, uh, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. The context can let us know if we can use it for future or also for present. Uh, Nadia? Teacher, uh, but, uh, I have a question about the exercise 16. Uh, when will you, you use uh, he? But refer a dog. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I don't understand because use he. Well, uh, the thing is that American people they have a cultures that they treat animals with uh, human pronouns. It sometimes could be a little bit uh, challenging because it's like uh, should be it. But some people, for example, if the dog is, you know we could say male or female, so they can use he for boy, for a dog, and also, also for a, a girl, we could say that they use she. And they are, they are treating animals uh, like, like humans with per, human pronouns. That's why it, it is very common to use he in this sentence. And, uh, and I understood that because I, I, ha I have a friend that she is a native speaker, an English native speaker. And she was uh, talking to me about her dog. Her dog is a boy, what she said. And she was talking to me about the boy. And I need to feed my boy. And I was like, uh, and he is sometimes a little, you know, mad. And it was like, I thought that she was talking about, you know, I don't know, uh, her son, but she was talking about, you know, her dog. And, And that is very common to use human pronouns for animals. Okay, uh, 21. Thanks, teacher. All right. Unless he will not sell more, he won't get much. Unless money. he sell more. Yes, because in the, in the next one, we're using a uh, want. Won. So won. unless he sells more, he won't get much commissions. A menos que él venda más, él no tendrá mucha comisión. So he needs to sell a little bit more, according okay. to this sentence. And the last one. If I lend you... You pay. will repay me. You will repay me. If, if, I, you if will I lend you... Repay me. Oh. Repay me. When will you repay me? When you will repay oh, me. Oh, so in that case, we, we will... Repay Okay, so we're talking about the future, right? Because I'm giving you the money, or if I give you the money, so you will take some time to get the money and give me the money back so that we can talk about that. So you can see here the examples about the these structures, the zero conditional and the first conditional in this sentence. Um, questions? And the last one, uh, and, uh, it's not, uh, will you repay uh, either you will repay? Hello? The last, the last one, uh, if I lend you $10 when you will repay me, it's not, uh, will you repay me? Ah, when will you repay me? In, in that case, also we can use this change, but this is a, not a direct, a, a direct equation. Also, it's not a direct equation. And imagine that I'm saying something, I say, when will you repay me? Uh, it's a direct equation, but in this case, we are not, uh, we're using an indirect equation because We're using through a conditional. If I lend you $10, when will you repay me? And in that case, this, the equation is correct because this we could say that it's an indirect equation. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, so after we check this one and we will continue with the next 
exercise. So congratulations for the work done because you have developed that one. And we talk about some consequences. Can you, can you tell me what do you understand by consequence? What is a consequence? Can be a result that's something we do. Sorry, could you repeat that? Is the effect? Can be a result or the effect, like my partner say, that's something we do. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, I have a question. I will speak in Spanish. No sé, ¿me escuchan bien? Es, ¿Me escuchan bien o, o no? Sí. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, se escucha bien. Muy bien, thank you. All right. So definitely that we are talking about the, the, this process right here. Okay, so it says, can you find two consequences for each possible event? Complete the chart with the information from the list. We have a possible event and also the consequences. What it's what are the consequences of buy buy a large dog fall in love what are the consequences of that uh what is the consequence of go on a diet go on a diet inherit a lot of money like inheritage is when you say somebody passed away somebody died and this person give you the money because you know oh your grand grandparent passed away so you know your grandparent gave you an amount of money when he died. So you have an inherit, inheritage. So inherit a lot of money. Move to a foreign country. What are the consequences? And what are the consequences of quit smoking? So you have some possible choices in the left side of the screen. Like be able to buy expensive clothes, feel better about yourself, feel hungry a lot, feel jealous sometimes, feel more energetic, feel safer in your home, have to give up your favorite snack, get requests for a loan from your friends, have to learn a new language, have to take it out for walks, lose touch with old friends and gain weight. So what you had to do is you had to um, complete the chart that we have in the, in the right side with information from the list we have right there. So for that reason, I will give you some minutes and you will have to socialize and check uh, which statement do you think match as part of the consequences for these possible events. So I give you this time to do it and let's go. If you have questions, you can uh, raise your hand or open up your microphone and say, teacher William, I need your help. Can you help me with that? Okay, so let's start. and. After when I when I say finished, we will socialize in a class your answers. Buenas noches, profe. Acabo de, re, acabo de venir a casa. Sí, pero me conecté tarde. Pero aquí estoy. Buenas noches. Uh, Francisco, right? Sí, correcto. Ok, Francisco. Ahí va a disculpar. Gracias. Ok, no te preocupes, Francisco. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Un placer. Está muy fuerte la trabación ahorita. Ok, ok. I understand it. No traffic is like at uh, this time, and especially in December, it's so crazy. Yes transportations in the traffic is terrible. Sí. Y en los microbuses uno anda como que fuera mono en la parte de arte afuera. Pero okay. muchas gracias. Okay.
Richard, what the meaning in hybrid? Hello? What the meaning in hybrid? A lot of in ah, inherit. It's like receive money. You can receive money or property or a title as an as an heir at the death of a previous holder. Imagine that somebody uh, died and this person give you the money after she or he died. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, sorry, I have a question. Yes, tell me. Uh, ¿Cuál es la forma correcta de decir yellows o yellows? Uh, yellows. yellows. Uh, oh. rem remember the pronunciation of the 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 word uh, letter of the alphabet, like J. Mm -hmm. Yellows. Ah, oh, okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, almost ready? Almost ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so... Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, perfect. So we can compare all the answers we have here. And um, let's see, what about by a large dog? What could be the consequences? Have to take it out for work. Feel, safe, feel safer in your home. Mm -hmm. okay. Feel hungry a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. Feel more energy too. Okay, uh, energetic. Yeah, feel more energetic, okay. Have to take it out uh, for walks. Have to let, uh, how to give up your favorite snack. Mm, ah, okay, yes, because when you're eating, you know, sometimes dogs ask for food. Okay, what about fall in love? What are the consequences of this? The consequences yellow yellow sometimes. Sometimes. Yellow yellow sometimes. sometimes. Or every day. <laughs> okay. Or everything, or every second. <laughs> okay. And okay, so that makes sense. What about go on a diet? Feel hungry a lot. Feel, feel, feel hungry, hungry a lot. Hungry. Yeah. A lot. When weight? It's difficult. Yeah. Hungry a lot. Being honest. Feel is more energetic. 
Uh, I don't know what, what is diet in my dictionary. <laughs> but anyway, okay. Okay, what about in Eric, a lot of money. I love this. Get requests for loans from friends. Okay. <laughs> Be able to buy expensive clothes. Be able clothes. to buy expensive clothes. Be able to buy expensive clothes. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Nice. Um. What about um, move to a foreign country? How to How learn a new language? language. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it's okay. And quick smoking. Feel better about feel, feel better about feel yourself better. or feel more ener energetic. You look Either... with your old friends. Energetic. No. Okay. Okay, that's that's okay. Thank you. So we could like check the possible consequences about that, right? Interesting, right? Because uh, they, there is always a reaction about something we do. Okay, look at this one. It says um, unexpected consequences. Choose three possible events from the exercise 10 and one student completes an event with the consequence. The next student at a new consequence suggests at least five consequences too, right? That's what we had to do. And we have some examples right here. In the exercise anterior, sorry, um, we go back. Um, tenemos acá, you know, the example here. Look at the examples we have right here. Um, tenemos ahí las consecuencias, right? Tenemos las, los posibles eventos. We have uh, six events. Entonces, eh, lo que usted va a hacer es que va a elegir tres posibles eventos del ejercicio anterior, right? Entonces, elija los tres eventos. Puede ser fall in love, go on a diet, quit smoking. Usted elige tres. Um, entonces, en sus grupos, eh, usted va a agregar una nueva consecuencia, aparte de las que ya mencionaron. Eh, y luego, el... el el siguiente compañero tiene que agregar una nueva consecuencia, right, también, y sugerir por lo menos otras consecuencias también por cada una. Entonces, eh, por ejemplo, vamos a formar grupos, los breaker rooms, y en los grupos usted dice, bueno, yo he elegido eh, este evento, y yo opino que una consecuencia puede ser esto. Y otro compañero dice, bueno, entonces yo voy a poner que también esta consecuencia puede pasar. Y otro va así, va a ir aportando cada uno, Elige su, su evento y los demás irán aportando una consecuencia nueva. That's what we had to do. So it's going to be a little bit more about speaking. So what I want you to do is to uh, take a short time to uh, think about the possible event that you will select. Choose three. But because of the time, we, will, we are going to develop at least two. Two events and you will give the possible consequences, a different ones, that the ones we have right here in the in, on the list. So mm -hmm. for that reason, we are going to work in the breakup rooms. So one moment, please. Uh -huh. Okay, we are 25 right away on the list. So it's great. Breakup rooms. Okay. Okay, four participants for each group. So we will create six breakup rooms. We create them and choose your event. You mention your event and the rest of the class will give a new consequence about each event. So let's get ready and practice.
Teacher, I mean, and Andrea is mute. Hello, yes. Uh, Andrea and, and Jaime is mute. Uh, uh, Andrea, Jaime, are you there? Yeah, it's the yes, spring, sir. yes. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. Yes. Um... Andrea. Okay, Andrea, tell me. I only finish. I oh, okay. only not finish. <laughs> One uh, moment, please. Okay. Okay, guys, and don't forget to have the, um, you know, the camera on too. Choose who your life dog, uh, consequence, okay. and entice him. Um, for me, oh, okay, okay. Um. Uh, for me, when uh, I select by a large dog, uh, I a large dog, uh, I feel more. Uh, uh, I don't see very well. <laughs> I feel safer in your home and um, and how another is um, you need to clean and you need to clean more more you need to clean more often or oh. or oh, feel more energetic for work with her you know. okay um, um. I con my consequence increasing work adopt grooming. Yeah. In, a case, in this case, Elva, Carolina, what about you? In my case, in the... Boy a lot dog. This boy a lot dog feel okay. safer in your heart every day. Mm -hmm. In your day now for one every day. You can't leave him home alone. If you go on the trip, you have to pay it. Okay. Um I I agree. You have company and every day. I think that you need to uh, pay for someone to uh, to give him a shower. Because it's very complicated. Give a shower a big dog. Yes, definitely. It's a very difficult uh, shower him. Yeah. 
I must. This this is my love. Oh. <laughs> I have many many pictures. Um. This this this. Her name is Kira. And this is my love. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Orion. <laughs> Okay. Um, we're talking about the other, the other, other thing, otro tema, falling mm -hmm. in love. Right. <laughs> love the <this>, show. <laughs> Hi. Teacher, do, teacher, do you, do you like smoking? Uh, no, I don't. No, no. no. <laughs> Why? Teacher, what is your favorite love? Sorry, what, what is that? What what is your fair fair love? ¿Cuál es su primer amor? Creo que lo dije bien. Ah, first love, the first yeah, yeah, love. Yeah. I mean, what is um, I think is God. I mean, if you are a well, a religious person, you know, you understand it. God, you know, is the the first love, right? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> um. They are, they are video games. No, al teacher no le gustan los videojuegos. I do, but sometimes it's like the time is not enough for me to play. So I really love, you know, about FIFA, for example, that's one of them. Ah, oh, okay, I love FIFA. The teacher, the teacher likes Free Fire. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, used to, I used to play, I used to play a lot about the, a video game called um it's about fight uh, an old Kombat. street fighter mortal combat was like one of the more commons that i used to play uh, it, it is san andreas for example need for speed you know okay uh, time ago Dishar, what is your your opinion for the books the lordcraft the book what is your opinion de los libros de lordcraft the Lurecraft, um, mm -hmm. I, well, being honest with yourself, I'm not so familiar about this book. I haven't had a chance to, like, to, you know, interact with them. So I, I'm like a little, you know, not so updated about that. Okay. Okay, teachers, thanks. Um, everybody, next. Uh, Smoking. Question. Yeah. If it, we if we are smoking, uh, if, if we can smoking. have cancer. <laughs> we can have cancer. Yeah. Um, really, um, today how? Um, todo la cancer como es? Um, 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 the uh, cancer example, uh, Coca Cola, uh, to race for chemic, um. Uh, chicken, the chicken is uh, er, um, hormonizado, como se dice? Hormo, or... Teacher, como se dice hormonizado? I'm sorry, you say the word, uh, are, the, it's that a proper name because I have heard about hormonizado. Cuando se, cuando se, cuando se... Crecen el pollo de la fuerza, que les ponen hormonas y todo eso. Ah, you say, or, or, and you say in Spanish it's like hormonas. And mm -hmm. in English it's called hormones. Hormones. Oh, hormones. Yeah, hormones. Oh, okay, okay. They yeah. have, they modify, you know, with hormones. Oh, yeah, modified for or, hormones. Many uh, sugar. Less sugar, it was. Yeah. All, all uh, uh, fruits, food. Is modified modified uh, today. Uh, I wish um uh, it a cancer. <laughs> but uh, if uh, we smoking, uh, I we can have throat cancer. Yeah, drugs. If, if I smoking, I will look no. myself uh, so cool. <laughs> With a glass. 
Va a venir el compañero. <risa> Hello. <risa> It's a joke. It's a joke. And, and if if you inherit a lot of money. Oh. Yes. You can buy many many things like uh, video games, uh, uh, many computers, many. Uh, Many things like uh, clothes, like um, like fancy alcohol, like uh, more cigarettes, like <clears throat> maybe 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 <laughs> maybe uh, a, a new smartphone. Okay, um, Noemi, your opinion. My opinion is, uh, I don't know. Okay. Boy, uh, Would buy, you donate buy, uh, a part? Repeat, Would please. you donate a part? Donate? To the people, to the poor people. A church. Uh, normal uh, journey uh, for uh, Cruz Roja in the street. Uh, um, uh, it might be also to the shores. To the shores as well. Yeah. Uh, to <clears throat> the summer schools. Uh, and to the poor people. Do you invest uh, of, uh, como se dice, bolsa de valores? Y invertir en la bolsa? Invest. I don't know how to say it. Let me see to the traductor. It's, it's invest stock, in a stock, stock exchange. Stock, stock, yeah, exchange market. Ah, invest. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. ah stock. Like the stock. Inverts. Be a millionaire and help uh, people in need. Team <laughs> mm, Birch is um, fly, fly. Our, um, is Bonnie Malo, como se dice? Uh, fly, um, <clears throat> sharp. Olvídalo. <laughs> se me fue lo que voy a decir. Okay. Okay, students, let's uh, continue with the next activity. We have a reading. Um, we had to read an article. The topic about the screening article is, are you in love? So we have um, a main idea related to this paragraph. It says, what is the difference between having a crush on someone and falling in love? That is the the, the main point about that, right? So falling in love. In that case, we will take a short time to read this article. I will read it. After that, you will read it again. And you had to answer some questions related to this reading. It says, you think you're falling in love if you're really attracted to a certain person. But this happened before. It was just crushed. How can you tell if it's real this time? Here's what your reader said. If you're in love, you will find yourself talking to or softening the person for that reason. You might pretend there is a reason, but often there is not. 
you'll find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, a friend begins uh, to interact with, my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. You might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid. When a woman asks me to tell her all about football, I know she's falling in love, said a TV sport announcer. Okay, so you, you have fallen in love, but falling in love is one thing and staying in love is another. How can you tell as time passes that you're still in love? If you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You might not always call him or her so often, but this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. You'll find that you can be yourself within this person. When you first fell in love, you were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself. But now you can be totally honest. You can trust him or her to upset you just as you are. Falling in love is great. Staying in love is even better. Okay, so what I want you to do is to read the article again. You will check the vocabulary. You will check the structures. And after you read the article, you will go on to the next part that is right here. Read the article and what happened when you fall in love. Compare to when you stay in love and check the correct boxes. You call the other person for that reason. What is that? According to the article, is falling in love or is staying in love? You can be honest about yourself falling in love or staying in love. So you will check the article, read it, and then you say, and you select the best answer for this one. So I will give you this time to work in this, and I will take a short time to check the attendance list. You help me, you, I say your name, you say present, okay? So start reading the article and working in the exercise we have right here. Ok, um, let's see, Alejandro José Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Filo, uh, Filomena Mendoza. Present teacher. Thanks. Andrea Geraldina Sánchez. Present teacher. Andrea Michelle García. Present teacher. Blanca Marisol Vargas. Blanca Marisol Vargas. Eh, Boris Martín Salinas. 
Present teacher. Eh, Brian Isaac Escamilla Hernández. Present. Carlos José Asensio Martínez. Carlos José Asensio. Denis eh, Isaías Gómez. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Daisy Carolina Rodríguez Mejía. Present teacher. Eh, Dina Elizabeth Flores. Dina Elizabeth Flores. Eh, Elba Carolina Vázquez. Present teacher. Erika eh, Meidel Antonio Flores. Present. Francisco Alberto Lemos. Present teacher, I'm here. Thanks. Good evening. Good evening. Eh, Iris Regina Hernández. It's here, teacher. Thanks. Eh, Jaime Rolando Escalante. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortés. Present teacher. Jessica Yanet Sánchez Valencia. Present teacher. Um, Juan Eduardo Morán. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Katia Graciela Juan de Candray. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, María Lucila Soto. Present teacher. Thanks. Maritza Isabel Méndez. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Nadia Isolina Rodríguez. Present teacher. Noemí Alicia Estrada. Present teacher. Eh, Oscar Armando Cruz. Oscar. Ricardo de Jesús. Teacher, aquí hay en el chat que se quedó afuera, que no pudo entrar. Solo ha puesto Carlos Martínez. Eso le iba a decir ahorita. Que lo sacó la, el Zoom, decía. Um, también me sacó, teacher, y tuve que volver a entrar. Ok, ok. ¿Quién es? Vamos a revisar. Sometimes that happened to me too. Yeah, it's, it's because of the internet. Yeah, because of the internet. Sometimes it could be a problem. The connection. Carlos Martínez ha puesto aquí, teacher, pero no okay. sé. Okay, thank you. Yes, I have it. Uh, let's see. Um, Oscar Armando Cruz Oscar Armando Cruz no. eh, Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez Ricardo eh, Sara Nalda Guzmán Sara Nalda Guzmán eh, Vidal Evelio Mejía Present teacher, present teacher. Eh, Wendy Abigail Rivera. Present teacher. Y Wilfredo Mendoza Ramos. Está present. Good evening. Thank you. Entonces, good evening. Nos hace falta, bueno, Oscar Ricardo. En... Oscar see. puso Sa mensaje, teacher. Sara. Oscar puso un mensaje que está en un lugar donde no le llega la señal y que hubo una emergencia. Mm, okay, so he's not in the class, right? Okay. No. Okay, thank you. Thanks, thanks. Okay, well, so let's socialize the answers about this one. So you can help me with this. And it says, okay, let's check together. Okay, you call the other person for no reason. What is that? Falling in love. Falling in love. Falling in love. Uh, you can be honest about yourself. Falling in love. Falling in love. You're saying staying in love. Staying. Yeah. Yes. And you feel you can completely trust the other person. Yes. What is that? Staying in love. No. What do you think? Staying in love. Staying in love. Falling in love. You feel, you feel you can completely trust the other person? Also, it could be falling in love because, I mean, you could be, I mean, you can trust in this person because you you, you stay, you feel it. 
of uh, so both I could be actually important. <laughs> and you suddenly have new new interestings, new interest. Falling in love. Falling in love. You have new interest. Falling in love. You talk about the other person at every opportunity. Falling in love. Falling in love, right. So it, it's very important. Okay, let's talk about it. The article uh, lists several signs of being in love. Can you think of other signs? I mean, do, perhaps there are some other things that are not uh, taken into account, but what other signs can you see um, to identify that the person, you know, it's in love? Can you help me with that? Sure. I, I had a doubt with the number three because uh, the article said that the people don't open uh, their hearts uh, uh, and when you threw in someone, you open all, everything. That's right. So that's why we, we took like um, a doubt related to this one. So also could be like uh, falling in love too. But um, I mean, if you are in love with someone, you open your heart and you trust in this person. Maybe it's, it's important to highlight this part. I think that there are some other signs that maybe show that you are in love. Like you try to be with this person, to, to, to go out with this person, to be in contact in one way with this person. There are other signs that perhaps we can take into account for that. And let's see here. Look at that. Okay. So guys, because of the time, we're about to finish. And also, I don't know if you have any questions or doubt or comments about a topic for today. No teacher. No teacher. Thanks. No teacher. Thanks. Okay, so let's uh, conclude the class today. Thank you so much for staying with us, for participating actively, as you always do. It's very important, you know, that every in every class we have a great advance about the practice. So I hope to see you tomorrow and enjoy your night. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Tisha. Thank you, Tisha. Good night. Have a good night, everyone. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.